low, you guys. I've been collecting some leaves. Beautiful leaves. There's green ones. I have some orange ones. Ooh, look at this one. It's kind of greenish, sageish green. If that's even a, oh, this one's kind of red. Yeah, I've been collecting. Have you noticed how many leaves are falling off the trees now? Whew, especially with the wind. It's blowing so hard that the trees are just blowing all over and the leaves are blowing all over. I love the time of year when the leaves all change and they're different colors. Well, I have a story today about that. It's called Leaf Man. But first, let's go ahead and sing our song. And I want to teach you guys something today, how I make a, a bag to, for collecting leaves. You can make your own bag and gather all the leaves up. And then on Thursday, we're going to learn how to make a collage that matches our story today. So it's going to be a fun week of learning about leaves. Why do leaves fall off of trees? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? What time of year is it? Yeah, It's the winter time, right? That's why the leaves are changing because it's starting. It's in the fall, in November, the fall, and then pretty soon in December comes winter and all the leaves are gone and everything's kind of dying out. That's when the seasons change, that happens. But it, before those leaves fall off the trees, they're beautiful, I think. It's a beautiful time of year. So let's go ahead and sing our welcome song. Charlie will join us. He says, hello everyone. Yes, he's excited today. And Charlie, he doesn't like the winter very bad, much. And so he has a little coat that we snuggle him up and sometimes we just carry him around, we hug him because he gets cold in the winter. He's, he, he's a fair weather panda. He likes the warm weather. Well, let's go ahead and sing welcome, welcome. Ready, go. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands like so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. And Charlie loves to bend, oh, bend down and touch his toes. That's kind of hard for pandas to do because they're not, not very, they're kind of short, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is our, should we do our letters? Let's go ahead and do our letters and then we'll do our story about the leaves. The le our story is called Leaf Man. But this week we're talking about the letter F. And the letter F, Francie Fish likes the sound of the letter F. And that's kind of easy to make that. Let's see. We go like this, and we swim, and we go f, f, fish, or f, f, bite, f, feather. Yes, and so then last week, what was our letter of the week? That was E. Ellie Elephant takes the trunk and goes, eh, eh, eh. Then we have D. Dee Dee Deer has her little ears and she goes, d, d, d. Letter C. Remember, Tina Cat likes the sound of the letter C, and she goes, she cleans her mouth, she cleans her paws. K, k, k. And I bet you can tell me what the sound of letter B is. Bubba Bear reaches up and he goes, B, B, 
Uh, nice job, you guys. You are really learning your letters. A, the sound of the letter A, alley alligator. I'm going to set it goes ah, ah. That's the sound of the letter A, ah, ah. And so let's go back to today's letter. What was that? An F. Francie Fish likes the letter F right here. And I'm going to make it up here. F. That's a uppercase, and that's the lowercase F. And we go. Francie Fish swims in the and goes. F Wonderful. Let's read our story. It's called Leaf Man. And I want, what I want you to notice about Leaf Man is he takes on a whole bunch of different shapes. And you can actually do this activity. We're going to talk about it more on Thursday. But once I show you how to make your bag you guys could make your own leaf collecting bag and then on Thursday you could make a collage and that kind of looks like the pictures in and you could be real creative you could make all kinds of things but Lois Ellert wrote the leaf man and we're gonna I want you to pay attention to the different shapes of leaves because you guys could recreate them on a leaf collage on Thursday. A leaf man used to live near me in a pile of leaves. See his eyes? There we go. And his nose. But yesterday the wind blew leaf man away. He left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was headed east past the chickens. Do you see the shape of the chickens? Yeah, isn't that fun? There's chicken shapes. You can make different colored legs. And then there's the eye. I wonder what they used for the eye. Looks like maybe a pine cone seed, maybe, or some kind of seed. Toward the marsh, over the ducks, you see ducks, a leaf's man got, has, a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows. That is so true. The wind, it blows those leaves and it blows them all over. And they just, the leaves go wherever the wind takes them. I want to ask you guys a question about if you were a leaf, where would you want to land? You'd be thinking about that. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. You see the pumpkins? Do you see the little mouse right here? They made a mouse out of leaves. One leaf here and then two little tiny ears with the small leaves. Wow, you could create all kinds of shapes with leaves. And flew, he flew over the turkey, past the potatoes, carrots, cabbages in a row. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchards? Do you see all the different pears? apples or over the prairie meadows and past the spotted cows they even made a cow shape that's beautiful a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows maybe leaf man's gliding on the lake breeze. I have seen 
leaves blow on lakes and they they're like little boats they just kind of float and float across the water and pretty soon they get really wet and sometimes they sink to the bottom or he goes flying along the river look at the fish do you see the fish shapes inside of this book or with out of leaves it's clever too you could make some on your collage some leaf shapes following butterflies going south well a leaf man's got to go where the wind blows he might even be traveling north above the leaves that look like him. Wow. Or flying over mountains with a flock of birds. Look at the bird shapes. They use little pointed tails for the leaf, for the bird tail. When Leaf Man looks down on earth, is he Lonesome for a home? This I do know, where a leaf man will land, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. <laughs> I bet you could find lots of leaves in your backyard. They're already home, right? Yeah, do you see the little faces? This one has fun little, a fun little face, and this one too. Do you see that? All kind of different leaves. There's a birch, a cottonwood. There's two different kinds of cottonwood trees, leaves. They must be changing. Linden leaves. There's elm leaves, all different beautiful colors. Each different leaf has a different color. And there are story. And where were some places that the leaf man went? Where did he travel? Do you remember? He went over the prairies, over the turkeys, and the chickens. There's another place he went. Hmm. Can you think of any more? I bet you can. I bet you can think of other places that you would go. So this is what you guys get to think about. I want you to think about where you would go if you were the leaf man. Where would you want to land? Maybe you would want to land on, on top of an ice cream building so you could go get ice cream anytime you wanted or where would else where would be a fun place maybe you could land oh i know you could maybe land in the park and so anytime you wanted to swing you could just go swing oh where else would be a fun place to land maybe in the back of someone's car on top of their car and wherever they drive or maybe on a train and you could doot, 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 doot. you could hear the sound of a train blowing oh i know one what about you could land on top of an airplane and go clear across the ocean on an airplane as if the if you were a leaf that would be fun. Well, you keep thinking of some other places maybe you would want to go. And let's go ahead and try to... Oh, did I lose you? Are you there? There you are. I lost you for a second. Let's go ahead and sing a song. It's called... Um, the leaves in the on the ground, they blow, blow, blow. Okay, so pretend like you're a leaf and you're gonna blow, blow, blow. 
the leaves on the ground. They blow, 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 blow. Blow, blow, blow the leaves on the ground. They blow, blow, blow all around the town. Hmm. Then they blow past the trains. Remember the train we talked about? Toot, toot, toot. The leaves on the trains, they blow past the trains. They blow past the trains. They blow past the trains, the leaves on the trees. They blow past the trains. Toot, 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 whoop, whoop. I think that's what they sound like, right? Let's try that. Whoop, whoop. The, how about we go, they blow past the cars, the leaves on the Trees. They blow past the cars, blow past the cars, blow past the cars, the leaves on the trees. They blow past the cars, doot, beep, beep, beep. Can you do that? Beep, beep, beep. Where else do they blow? They blow past the um, buses. Yeah, the leaves on the trees, they blow past the buses. What sound does a bus make? They're like vroom, vroom, vroom. The leaves on the trees, they blow past the buses, blow past the buses, blow past the buses. The leaves on the trees, they blow past the buses. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Okay, boys and girls, I think we are ready to sing our song. I'm very glad you came because I am so glad you came today. I love it when we get together and we get to sing and read stories. Ready? I'm very glad you came today. I'm very glad you came. I'm very glad you came today. I'm very glad you came. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. Glad you came. I'm glad you came. Very glad you came today. I'm very glad you came. All right, so on Thursday, I didn't tell you about the bags. I almost forgot. I'm so glad I didn't forget you guys. So this is my leaf collecting bag. And what I did is put some holes right here. Put some holes inside there and that way, you can put your string, any kind of string will work. I used yarn and I tied it up. And so I have my little handle and then I collected some leaves and glued them on my bag. Do you see the glue? Put some leaves on this side and that way you can go out and you can collect your leaves that you are going to, I'm going to show you how to make a collage and maybe you can make some shapes but first you have to get a bag made and then you can put them in here and have a leaf collecting bag for your collage that we're going to learn on Thursday how to make. Does that sound like a lot of fun? But you can use anything. You can hole punch it, have an adult hole punch it and then you can use anything for the handle. You can have string or a shoelace. I've seen many things be used. So there you have a leaf collecting bag for your wonderful leaf collage. And so if you get your bag, have it ready and have your leaves ready, then I'll show you how to make a leaf collage on Thursday. Okay, friends, we'll talk to you later. And it's so good to see you. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.
Love you guys. Bye-bye. Charlie says bye-bye.